Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, the 22nd of April, 2017, and it's a really good life. Pow! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nina, and it's about 7 a.m. here, and I've just woken up. I feel flatter than a dead dingo's donga this morning, but can't be helped, can it? Sometimes you have your on days. Sometimes you have your off days. Could could you stop licking your twat, Kundu? It's very distracting. I'm trying to film. Don't work with animals or children. Seriously. Anyway, so. I've got my cup of English breakfast tea. I've put two tea bags in this morning to try and alleviate the effects of being flatter than a dead dingo. Dunga! Let's hope it works. So, <clears throat> I've got to start the morning off with uh, enema. It's enema day. Unavoidable. Part of a bowel care regime. Got to talk about it. Why not? No point in hiding it. So, the last time, two days ago, I did this. This... You know what this is. And I went to put the the tip in to my ass. And I had a bit of lube on the end. As you're supposed to do a bit of lube there. To, to you know, facilitate the entry. And I squeezed and poof, the whole thing just went up my ass. And it was kind of painful. And I thought, well, you didn't even buy me dinner and a drink before you did that, you know. So, anyway, that's what I've got to do this morning. 30 seconds to 30 minutes later, it just, it just pals out. It just, <laughs> so I'm going to have my cup of tea. How are you all? It's like, it's hard talking to a camera, it really is. Like, nobody talks back. I opened my windows up this morning at the front and there's a camper van sitting in my driveway and I was like, what? Huh? Huh? I, I didn't remember that there's a camper van in my driveway. So I'm going to have to explain that to you soon. Yeah, I'm going to have to explain that. Kenny, can oh, God. Fuck. Kenny? God. Oh. He just farted. It's rank. Oh. He eats... Kenny, my, my boy, is coprophagic. So that means he eats his own poo. So you can imagine the smell when he farts. Anyway. I'm going to get up and choose the frock. Choose my best frock for today. And then... Yes. Okay. Talk soon. So, I've had my shower now, I have done my enema, and Normie is still a bit sleepy. Hello, Normie. Oh, darling. Hey. I've chosen my frock for the day. It's um, by TS14 Plus. Lovely, lovely light fabric, and very colourful. It's a tunic. I think women, women in the know call it a tunic. Yes. So I'm going to wear that with some black tights underneath and a lacy little camisole with long sleeves because it's a little bit cooler today. I've put some, oh, can we see that? Rose hip oil on my face just as a moisturiser. I do that a couple of times a week to make myself even more beautiful than I already am. And the piece de resistance, my Tina undies. I mean, looking at that, is it any wonder I don't get swiped on Tinder? Mmm. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to get dressed and make myself fabulous. And I will see you soon. Time to have breakfast. I'm just going to have some O&G crunchy granola by Uncle Toby's this morning. It's supposed to have a four-star rating. So that means it's good for me. Bit of milk. 
too much milk? No. Oh, God. oh, yes. I can just taste it already. Yep, tastes good. Mmm. Delicious. Heading out on the road soon. See ya. I'm on the road, road again. again. I just can't wait, wait to, to get, get on the road, road again. again. So we're, uh, we are in the camper van and we're just heading out for a bit of a test drive up to Hill 60. This is my personal assistant for the day. How you going? Good. I'm enjoying driving this Toyota High Ace. Yep. I'm testing it out. We're going up Hill 60, a very steep road. I'm in third gear and I can climb up without a problem. Awesome. So we're up nearly at Hill 60. I'll show you the view when we get there. It's beautiful. It's really something to see. Look at that view. Oh, Hill 60. Port Kembla, New South Wales, Australia. Look at it, it is beautiful. The sun isn't shining today, unfortunately. It's a little bit cloudy and hazy, but you can still see, you can see way over there. And down there is some tunnels. I think they're boarded off to the public now. But when I was young, when I was a teenager, I used to come down there and um, explore. Don't really know if I should say much more than that, but anyway, <laughs> they're really creepy, full of graffiti. And then you come out on the other side and the view is just spectacular. Oh, but just look at it. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Woo! Hey, Tossa. You talking to me? <laughs> oh, sorry. Huh? Hi, guys. Hey, Of course, I'm Robbie, and guess what I've got? I've got the camper van. Now, would you like to have a quick look at it? I've got it sitting over here. Check it out. I would love to have a look. Show us. Here she is, parked the camper van. Pretty standard, just a Toyota Hi-Ace 1990, so it's quite old and it's done 200,000 or 250,000 kilometres, but it's still going. So why did you buy it? So I can do a bit of an adventure all up the east coast of Australia, right up to Cairns and then maybe inland as well. So, so I, wa I want a place to be able to stay, it's cheap, I'm sort of like doing free camping as well as caravan parks because I'm on a low budget, I just wanted to get something that'll do the job. Yeah. So like a, bu so a, um, a bucket list, you would say? It's also a bucket list for me. I'm getting a bit older and I just want to finally do Older? A... Older? You're not! You're Everyone so is getting older. Not. You are yes. so not. Look at me, I'm getting older. <laughs> Alright, show us. Show right, us what so you got. That's just the camper van. That's the passenger seat right there. It's yep. nice and comfortable. I've got this piece of wood here, see? Uh -huh. So I can put things like drinks and everything sitting down there. Does the job. In here, I'll show you. I open the door and... We have a bed. Now I wonder how much action that bed has seen over time. I don't know, but it's nice and clean because I just <laughs> took the cover off it. Anyway, um, there's a it's a, like a double size bed. It's a foam mattress yep. with an extra bit of mattress up underneath it. Yep. And we also have window covers. See this? Cool. I believe these are magnetic window covers. Yep. And when it's time to go to bed, what we do is we put these on here. And it blocks out all Privacy the Privacy and light keeps it out. How's that? So you want to show us in the back? Just just a basic Yeah, underneath, is, underneath by the way, see? You can put, there's a battery down there Yep. that runs all the electricals. And a storage area for boxes here. Right, okay. So you can go around the back. And of course up there is an awning, which is not set up yet, on the roof. So it comes right out as a shade area. All right. Isn't that good? That'll keep me from getting too hot. And here's the back. Open up the back. Awesome. And we've got the back of the van, which of course Nina's uh, mobile 
gadget is right here. That's my little electric wheelchair at the moment. Thank you. I'm... Thanks again, Graham, for that. That's a wonderful thing. She's really making use of it, so thank you. Definitely am. And of course, here we have, for instance, on this side, this is the stove area. Yep. I just fold this out, and I've got a little stove that I can use to make a cup of tea if I want to stop over and have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. You mean an English breakfast? English breakfast. Perfection. <laughs> Quite easy to do. I'm gonna learn how to use this machine quite well. See, here's the billy. She sits right there. Pretty good. And over there, where the billy was, is a sink. Yep. So it comes through there, with a little cover cool. on it. Yep, cool. And right next to me, underneath here, is a fridge. fridge. Awesome. The, the door opens like that, and there's a fridge that runs off the battery that I showed you before. And of course, room to put all your clothes and everything there. Which means we need plenty of room if Nina's coming on a trip with me. Yeah. <laughs> maybe one day, maybe one yeah. day. But right now, right now, I think it's time for you to do your bucket list trip. Yep, I'm gonna... And, and just one last question. Yep. What kind of a feeling does Toyota give you? Oh, what a feeling, Toyota. Hey guys, I'm going to head down now to another lookout around the corner. So you want to come roll with me? Come on, let's go. You have to keep up. I'm on full speed. I forgot to ask you a question. What do you think about my colours today and my frock? colors I feel really bright even though the Sun is not shining I feel beautiful so let's go go through a bit of gravel but she's doing it Do you think we should get fish and chips for lunch? Is it lunch now? I know. It's only half past nine in the morning. So, why am I always thinking about food? Oh, God. All right. Steep grade. Engage low gear. Safety ramp at bottom. No stopping on the hill. Does that apply to me? Holy shit. How steep is it going to be? Let's see if I can do it. Oh, it's, it's going to be so worth it. It's going to be so worth it. Look at that view. Just look at it. Woo! <laughs> Come on, keep up, keep up. Oh, my God. Ah, ah. Careful. All right. Oh, that is a bit steep. No, that's, that is too steep. I'll stop here. Yep. That's enough of a view for me, I think. But look at it. You know what? I wouldn't be dead for quids because it's a really good life. I'm going to get back up this hill now. When you get down, you've got to get back up. In life, as well as climbing a hill. Victory! Hi! We're going to show you now how easy it is to fold up Nina's power assist chair that she's got from Graham so we can fit it into the van. So what I usually do is, at the back there are two black gadgets to squeeze. I just squeeze these two together, then I can fold it up <laughs> like so there we go all I do is fold it together 
like that, it's nice and flat. And to make sure, I just use a strap like this so I can really hold it together. Especially when it's in the car. Just roll this through here. There's probably another easier strap you could use, but this will do me for now. So I can strap it all together. It holds the arms together as well. Although I did forget to put that arm in, look. How much does it weigh, roughly? I think you said it was about 22 kilos, is that right? I'm not sure. I can't remember. All right. And now, Swing when, it in. when I'm ready, I just put her in. All right. Maybe I'll get up on the step. And... What you barking at, baby girl? So here I am, it's just after lunch now, about 12.30. Um, I got home and had some, had some brown rice noodles and just stir fried up a bit of um, bok choy, that type of veggies with it. Had that for lunch. And now I've got to take, I've got to take these guys out for a walk. Um, after that, I'll probably have a nap. I'm going to just lay out like a starfish and just whoever knocks at the fucking door, piss off. Because during my nap time, my time is sacred. I'm rolling along this narrow little alleyway behind a suburban street, and I'm heading down to Pet Stock to get these guys some food. And it always feels really dodgy to me this area because I don't know, I just kind of I feel like I should carry a switchblade and some mace. But, I mean, can you imagine me trying to... <laughs> I'm going to cut your balls off, mate. Take one step closer and I'll slit your dick in half. I mean, I'm not very convincing, am I? So, yeah, we're kind of in a bit of a dodgy area. But anyway, onwards we go. Hi-ho, silver. We're going at about... Eight, nine, whoa, shit, live off the road. Eight, nine, ten kilometers an hour. And Kenny and Kundu just love, love getting out and about. You could walk them all day and they would never, ever be tired. Isn't that right, sweetie? Hey, Kenny, hey, darling. Kundu, Kundu, look at mama. Oh, no. Rabbits in the bush, mama. Rabbits in the bush. We've made it to pet stock. Pet stock part of your family. Doo -doo. Kenny and Kundu's favourite place in the world. And I'm a bit pissed off because I can hear this god awful shuddering and shaking um, in my mobility scooter. When I go to accelerate, it's vibrating. So I hope I'm going to be able to get home in one piece. But there's something really wrong. Oh, God. Ah! All right, time to shop. Hey, get sorted. So I just came out of pet stock and I managed to buy Kenny and Kundu um, their meat rolls and a new coat each for winter. I got one pink coat for Kundu and one blue coat for Kenny. Talking with an audience. Oh my god, people stare. Anyway, um, I was in pet stock and I thought, oh my god, I am going to shit my fucking pants again. Hang on. Yes, I still have an audience. I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna shit my pants. It, I've got like 30 seconds and I just got to the counter and I was like, where is your, where's your toilet? Where is your toilet now? Oh, we don't have a toilet. It's not a public bathroom. The nearest public bathroom is McDonald's. That way. 
I ain't gonna make it. I said, sweetie, I ain't gonna make it. I've got 30 seconds. I'm gonna shit my fucking pants and it's gonna be a disaster. Just for me, for you, just let me in. They let me in and I think, I think to God he thought that I was a drug addict that wanted to shoot up like I was on, um, you know, like I really needed to have a shot right now. Anyway, that's what happens on enema days. It's what happens once the bowels go into motion. Sometimes they just don't stop. It's unfortunate, but it's just part of living with MS. What can you do? So I'm going to head home now, thank God. My scooter is still working, but it's making an awful shuddering noise. It really is. So, yeah. Get on my head, will ya? All right, rock and roll, baby, rock and roll. You're looking good, Nene. Yep, you keep telling yourself that. It's like a delusion. You're looking good, Nene. All righty, all righty. Yep, get behind, back, 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 back. I'm talking to the dogs. <laughs> all right, what have I got to do now? I think I'll just head home and have a nap. Did you hear that or did you miss it with the bus? All right. I'll catch you later. In bed. Yes, in bed. That's where I'll see you next. Mwah. So I've just gotten home from pet stock, finally. And I've got two meat rolls. They love these. They're, they're supposed to be all natural. They love them. And two new coats for Kenny and Kundu. So I've got blue for Kenny, obviously, and pink for Kundu. How gender stereotyped is that? But you know what? I don't care. Um, sometimes I'm a really old-fashioned girl. Pink and blue, boy and girl. Easy as. They're called the Warmy Coat. The DGG Warmy in large for $20. And I think it was 20% um, off. So, yeah. Alright, I think it is time for me to go and have a nap. A well-earned nap. Alright. Love you all. That's not true. I don't love you all. Some of you, maybe, not all, but okay, nap time. Hey guys, it's about half past five right now and I'm just sitting down. It's a Saturday night and I'm having a really wild one doing my online shopping with Woolies. It's much easier that way to... Um, you know, get the stuff in that you need without all the effort required to go to the supermarket. So I'm trying to prepare for the next couple of weeks because some things are changing in my life. So I've got to um, prepare for that. So yeah, I'm doing shopping. But I'm also looking at these boots. They're on sale with Autograph at the moment. And the great thing about being in a wheelchair is um, you can wear whatever shoes you bloody well please because they don't, they don't wear out. I mean, they literally just don't wear out because you're not walking around in them. I like the I like the look of these for winter. What do you think? Yes? No? I've got size 10, as you can see here, which is my shoe size. I just have to click add to bag, and they're mine. Hmm. Don't know what to do yet. I'm not sure. And I'm just doing some editing, YouTube editing, um, of the vlog I took today and combining it into one that covers the whole weekend. So, yeah, I'm going to leave you guys here and get cracking with all my online duties. I hope to see you tomorrow, that being Sunday the 23rd of April. I guess this is it from me. Good night. God bless. And have a really good crack at it. At what? I don't know. It's Saturday night. Have a crack at it. Men and women, you know. Crack, crack. Good night. Hello, good morning, how are you in there, little people? I wish you could come out and talk to me, like, I feel so lonely this morning, you know. Anyway, it's Sunday, the sun is shining and it's a glorious day outside, but I really don't know what to do. I've made no plans, no plans at all. I just, wherever the wind takes me is wherever I'm going to go. So, it's Sunday. Did I just say that? Yes, it's Sunday. It's about quarter to eight in the morning. 
and it's not an enema day. No enema today. Isn't that fantastic? That's just fantastic. If I had to do enemas two days in a row, I think I would be asking Jesus if I could come up and visit him a little bit sooner than what is normally possible. Anyway, I've got my English breakfast tea. Tea bag has split and there's tea leaves, like, I know you can't see, but there's tea leaves floating in the tea. So, not good. I think I'm going to lie in bed for a bit and read, oh God, I'm reaching for my book, don't worry, read this new book I've bought, The Best of Adam Sharp by Graham Sim Simpson. Um, he wrote The Rosie Project and The Rosie Effect, which I read whenever they came out about a year or two ago. So I may just lie in the sun and and read for a bit until I figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do today. I really just don't know. Um, oh, yes, I forgot to tell you, I bought the boots. Last night, I was looking at the boots. I bought the boots. I bought the boots. I've now got brown, gorgeous leather boots for winter. And I can think of so many frocks that I can put thermals under and then wear those boots with, and it's just going to be fantastic. I'm going to be the most beautiful girl in my town. Yes. Yes. Oh, look at this face. Vogue. 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 Anyway, getting off the point. It's sunny. It's Sunday. I'll figure it out soon. Until then, love ya. I better start with breakfast, bet I? Most important meal of the day and all that, and I haven't even thought of that. Breakfast and some exercise. Exercise is really important too. So much to do, and, and yet I just... Oh. Day two of feeling flatter than a dead dingo's DONGA! Do you know what a donga is? Think about it. Breakfast time! Breakfast for Kenny and Kundu! Uh oh, what do we got? We've got chicken carcasses. Oh, is that tasty? Is that tasty? You can do. Okie dokie. Wait. Ah, sit. Oh. Oh, that sounds good. Kundu? Oh, look at that, okay. I think that's a pretty good way to start off a Sunday, at least for them. Oh, yes, yes, tasty. Hey guys, it's Sunday now, it's 11.30 a.m. and my personal assistant and I are headed out for a Sunday drive. So, we're gonna play Word of the Day. So, what you do with Word of the Day is, I say the word, he has to spell it, and then I put it in a sentence, and you have to be really fast, or there's penalties. Uh-oh. I don't know what the penalties are, but I'll make them up, because right. I'm pretty good at Word of the Day. All right, so the word today is kumquat. Not cum squat, but kumquat. Quick, mm. spell it. I suppose it is C U M Q U A T. Q Q U A T? Q U A T. Yes! Yes! Yes, hey. it is! Alright, so a kumquat is a small citrus fruit about the size of an olive, and you can like squash it and, and put it in jam. I've tried kumquat jam. There we go. Word of the day! Woo! Woo! Kumquat! <laughs> Look, we're heading up to up to the beach. Stemmel Park, northern suburbs of Wollongong. <laughs> I forgot where we are. I have that eternal problem of forgetting where we are and what I'm going to say. All right, signing off. Holy shit, was that a Lamborghini? Did I, did I say that right? Probably. You have, like, really rich Sydney ciders have moved down here in the last 10 years. And on Sundays, they come down. Yeah, they do. They do. They come down for 
touristy type things. So if you're ever looking to rob a house, rob it in the northern suburbs up this end of town because you would get some really good shit. Stop that! <laughs> it's true! Here we are at Stamble Park, Bald Hill, New South Wales. Look at the view. Found some sexy bikies. I'm gonna see if I can pick myself one up. He's got a hot set of wheels. <laughs> Turbo chairs. Oh, hot set of wheels. Not as hot as what's sitting on the wheels, eh? Yeah. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Nene's still got it. Come on. There you are. You want me? <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and just drink in the views and the sun. And you know what I think? I think this weekend has counted as a total and complete. Oh no. You know oh, what's no. coming, don't not, you? Not loud. <laughs> it's going to be loud. I'm sorry. It's going to be loud. All right, all right, all right, all right.